Welcome to the Rustic Garden. I'm going to do a six-part series, a KISS series, keep it simple, on starting your seeds indoors. How do you grow your own transplants indoors? And I'm doing it now, it's October, so that you have time to get ready for January when, you know, we're starting to come out of winter and we're getting into the spring. You can save a lot of money by starting your transplants indoors, by starting your seeds indoors, and it's really, really easy. Stick with me on this series. If you follow it, you're going to be able to grow your own transplants, you're going to be able to save yourself a lot of money. Today we're just going to start about, uh, today we're just going to talk about setting up the grow light station. What do you have to buy? What do you have to look for? What do you have to look for? And it's really, really easy to do. A couple of things. If you check out my older videos and I'll link to them, you're going to find me talking about these grow light stations with the fat fluorescent bulbs, the T12 bulbs. Well, these are T8s. These are the smaller, thinner bulbs, and that's what I'm going to build and update my whole um, grow light closet with is these T8 bulbs. They're um, a little bit more expensive, but they're really worth getting. If you can't find the T8s, go ahead and buy the T12s and I'll explain more about that. Walk into your Home Depot, walk into your Lowe's, walk into Walmart, pick up T8 bulbs. For, these are uh, four foot bulbs and you want to pick up a Utility shop light is what they're called. It's just the receptacle for the bulbs. And you want to match the number. So this is a T8 to a T8. If you're going to buy the fatter bulbs, the T12s, match the T12 to a, twee, uh, yeah, to a T12 receptor. And that's all you really need to do. There's really no such thing as, you know, grow lights. They're all really basically the same. If you go and buy a grow light kit, you're just going to be paying double and triple. So go ahead and make it. So what did this cost? This was $14. This is where the bulbs go. It's just a shop light. It was $14. This one was at Lowe's. You want to make sure you get one with a cord that's about four feet long. Sometimes they come and the cords are only this short. Take a look at it. Make sure you have a four foot cord. You're also going to get your chains to let you hang your shop light right out of the box. $14, inexpensive. And then my T8 bulbs. And again, remember, the most important thing is if these are T8s, then you want a T8 shop light. They just drop in. Let's see if I can do this from here without moving. Just like that and twist. And there's two prongs. You just slide the prongs in and twist. You click them in. These lights are ready to go. This is all that you're going to need. Now, when you go and buy the T8 bulbs, you're going to have to look at two things. You're going to have to look at Kelvin, K-E-L-V-I-N, and Lumens, L-U-M-E-N-S. And I'll link videos that explain more about that to this one. You want to get the highest, and to keep it simple, the highest Lumen value, the highest Kelvin value. Kelvin, this Kelvin value here is 650 Kelvin. And that's really about the color of the light. As you go up to 10,000 Kelvin, it becomes blue sky. Lower Kelvin, like 1900, is like candlelight. So you want to get up to the color of the sky. So 6,500 Kelvin is what I use. Get as close as you can to that. Now, lumens is brightness. You want the brightest possible light that you can find, and this is, just let me double check, 2900 lumens. So this is a 2900 lumen bulb, 6500 Kelvin bulb, and you can find that real easily on the packaging of the light you buy. So get as close as you can to 6500 and close as you can to 2900. And I've been doing this for at least a decade. That's all you need to grow and start your seeds indoors. Now, once you have this set up, you're going to have to hang it from something and you're going to keep this two inches above your seed starting cells. Now I'm going to go over the materials you need but this is just the first video in showing you the setup for the grow light system so that you can grow seed starch just like this. I'm going to go over the how you plant them, the starting mix, fertilizer, the materials you need to grow them, all that kind of stuff. Now I also have a video, this is PVC, I have a video on how you make this. This was maybe 10 bucks. This is what I use for my grow light stand. I take it apart each year, put it into a closet, it's real simple. And this 
is what I hang the light from. This goes under here. And all you really have to do is put your chain on. this quickly. Drop it in. And you can hang it however you want, but this is the way that I, I do it. Let's slide down here. And that's it. Now, when this is under here, you want this to be about two inches from your seed starts. So sometimes it's kind of a pain to keep adjusting this up and down. You can set up a system, whatever you have that works for you is great. Or you can just put books, up, books under here and just raise it this way. And as the plants grow taller, you know, you would drop it down. But this sets up your grow light station. Again, it was about $25 for the lights and for um, the shop light here. And it was maybe $10 or $14 to build this um, PVC system here to hang the light and you can use whatever you want. Now let me uh, turn this on and just show you the intensity of the light. So this is the grow light station turned on obviously. Plenty bright enough to grow your seed starts indoors. And one of the uh, mistakes people make is they think if they have a sunny window they can put their seed starts there but they don't really have enough sun. If you're using a window the actual sun has to be coming through that window directly to the plant for eight hours. It can't be in direct sunlight. It has to be direct sunlight. You're creating direct light using um, these T8 bulbs. The plants would sit just like this. Plenty of light. You leave it on for about 16 hours. I'll talk about all that in other videos. I'll talk about using timers. But for $25, you can set up this shop light. You can start your own seeds indoors, and it's really, really, inf really yeah, infective. Really, really effective. It really works and I encourage you to give it a try and get started. Maybe you've always been wanting to do this. Well, this is the year to do it. Please check out my other videos that will be coming up in this series. Also check out my um, YouTube blog at www.therestofgarden.blogspot.com and if you can, please subscribe. I'm hoping to get to 100,000 subscribers. Thank you.